oh, what does ambition mean to me? Um, I would say it's doing something to get something I really want. So are you ambitious on that definition? Always, yeah. So you've always been like that? Um, yeah, I have actually. Yeah, I've been like that my whole life. <laughs> Even when you were little, little? Even when I was little. Um, Tell me a bit yeah. about that. Um, yeah, so when I was young, I was always a very determined child. Yeah. Um, even my mum said as a baby, um, I always wanted to do things. I didn't want like much help to do stuff. If I couldn't do it myself, um, I'd get a little bit frustrated. Uh, and yeah, and I suppose I just carried that on. Um, even when I was in school, like, yeah, I was just a real like high achiever, I suppose. Um, just had to, yeah, just really wanted to get it done. Um, because I knew the results that would come from that, so I, I wanted to do it the most fast, the most efficient way, actually. The process, um, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Like, I would always see, I can always see the end goal, I can always see the big picture. So whatever it's going to take for me to get there. And my sister is very ambitious, but in a different way. She, um... She just has very staunch values to what she believes in. So, and she won't veer from that. So if she believes in something, that is it. And if she wants to get somewhere or to do something or she's got a goal to get it, um, I don't know if any goals that she hasn't succeeded in. Like, mm. she will drive herself to those goals. So if I asked you to describe the most ambitious person you know... Who would you say? Uh, 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 my flatmate. <laughs> Why your flatmate? Um, um, just because she knows. Um, well, she's she's a very staunch businesswoman, um, but she's just experienced so much in terms of achievement, and she's always I don't know. She's just got this drive in everything she does, and that's what it is. I think it's the drive. She has her drive. Her drive meter is high all the time. Um, as a mother, as a businesswoman, um, as a friend, in all areas of her life, she, yeah, ambition just drives her like it really does. There's this, there's this culture, um, with across the board, of Fano and communities that that allow for this underbelly of of members of the community youth included to stay in that low self-esteem zone and so you have and then it's i think that's where the separation comes in the community is you have all these people that are like so confident and doing so well and they're very ambitious but then you have these people that are personally they've been pushed down and a whole lot that's a whole lot of factors you know we can get into a, a bigger conversation around that but it's that how does this group of people help this group of people how do we do that how do we merge the two they've been bombarded by Orangatamariki, MSD you know all these different agencies have come into their home and try to work with them and they're they're done they're stretched you know they feel like They've got no autonomy over their own lives anymore, that they're not in control. And so, how do you even get an ambition when you don't feel in control of who you are or what you're doing in your home? You know, how, yeah, that, that, that's the question I see a lot.